Alright man, you know who it is, Jay Wall, aka Fresh Molly Jenkins, you know what I'm saying? And stay tuned, kick it with me for about five, ten minutes. We're gonna talk, you know what I'm saying? Get, get to know me a little bit, some behind the scenes stuff. No, let your phones buffer, you know what I mean? Put the put the put the joint on pause and let this cause you know what I'm saying, I need you to see this whole thing. If you fuck with me or my music, you're gonna enjoy it. I mean, holla me. And you might not have came here to see me, but you came here to see a good show. And that's what the fuck I do. So DJ, please, let's get it. Chilling with J Wall, and we're gonna be talking about HUC, his new up and coming projects, and how great 2014 was for him. So, y'all stay tuned. For those who don't know you, who are you? Alright, man, this is J Wall, aka J Wall the Great Wall, you know what I'm saying? aka Fresh Molly Jenkins, aka the favorite at his favorite. Yeah, that's what you're going with. So, alright, since you're everybody's favorite rapper, how did you get your name? Uh, you know, there's a story behind it. That's, just, that's a story for another day. My older brother gave me my name. And I just came, I just came up with Fresh Molly this year, actually, because I was like jealous that Lil Wayne was just starting to call himself Tunchi. I didn't know where to Yeah, I was like, damn. So I wanted to make me like the heaviest. Who I got Fresh Molly from. So, uh, how long you been rapping? <clears throat> uh, I mean, like really like coming up and, and formulating songs and like getting into the studio. I was doing that since since middle school. And so that's like like about fifteen, over fifteen years. Yeah, okay. So I mean what would you say that uh, keeps you going in this uh, game, you know? Things are changing, you know. What would you say keeps you motivated? <clears throat> I mean I I, I I rap for a lot of reasons, you know what I mean? Um I'm real passionate about music and just the art form of, of, of real hip hop and, and just being an artist. I consider myself an artist. I'm not just out here trying to make money or just trying to get out of the hood. But I mean, um, you know, so my, just my passion for music and, uh, you know, trying to see my family live lavish. And uh, I didn't finish college, you know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of reasons, but really just my passion for music and, and the art form of it. Keep me, keep me what were you studying in college? Uh, physical education. <laughs> so, uh, tell me a little bit about the uh, 2014, like uh, the projects you had out, uh, the work you've been putting in. I mean, you know, give me a quick recap. <clears throat> well, 2014, man, was just it was, it was just it was big. It was busy, mm -hmm. and it was just grind. I was putting in a lot of work. I was on a lot of projects, featured in a lot of videos, on a lot of songs. Uh, prior to 2014, I hadn't even had a video, you know what I mean? So right. just to be able to put out a lot of videos <clears throat> was 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 what the whole year was about for me. It was I, I dubbed it like the year of the visual because I had never had a video. A video. So I wanted to put like a face in it. Yeah, I've seen you putting out a lot of videos. Yeah, you know what I mean? So uh, like I, you know, projects and projects I put out a, I put out a mixtape gimmicks and politics and then um, the PUD compilation I was all on that too uh, shout out to Big Pup and the PUD uh, and then uh, you know I shot, we, I got four I did four solo videos mm -hmm. and uh, seeing Black Pixels you know shout out to him that's who shot all of my, my videos well nah Chad Bailey shot one of my videos shout out to him but um, yeah I put out four videos this year and then I had some 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 uh, decipher videos and stuff like that, and just was just putting in work everywhere, doing shows like I usually do, and yeah, just trying to put it, trying to make a brand and and right, and be everywhere. Yeah, and be everywhere, just like like trying to market myself, not just be somebody out here rapping, but really trying to start a movement. You know what I'm saying? So tell me about uh, HUC and uh and how did it how did it come about? Uh, the HUC Houston Underground Cipher. Like the the day that the day that I made it, the night that I made it was really after a, a BT Hip Hop Award show. Um, <clears throat> like Kendrick had came out and this Drake, and mm -hmm. it, I kind of took it personally, like as if you know what would I do 
if that happened to me, so it, it was kind of that. And then I had got on Twitter and a lot of cats was just like, oh, you know, so-and-so didn't do good or I could have done better or why they don't never had nobody from Houston on the ciphers and something mm -hmm. like that. So I did it for that. And also, um, I just wanted to give back to, to the underground. I wanted to give back to Houston and to the fans. It was just something that, that was free that could be put out once a month. You know what I'm saying? I have I, the plan was like to put four different underground artists. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't it wasn't ever intended for 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 me to get famous off of it. You know right. what I'm saying? I hosted it just because it, we, it needed a host, and I, you know I, I came up with it or whatnot. Like, but I didn't want people to see my name. We don't think of my name. Don't think of me or my name or my face when you hear the underground cipher. Right. Houston underground cipher is just Houston unsigned hype. Cats that are just underground who, who spit. And also, I just wanted to give people the, the, the platform and the forum to show, like, you know what I'm saying, that down south, they people can spit too, and we got hip hop down here too. I was going to ask you, like, you care to elaborate on some of the names that you had on the cypher? Um, uh, Donnie Hugh, he was on a lot of them with me, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, Q did his thing, man. Yo, yo Money did his thing. Uh, you know, shout out to Chachi. Uh, <clears throat> I had some PUD fam uh, on there, T Storm, Coop D. Um, there was a lot of cats on there, man. Um, just all, you know, shout out to everybody who participated, man. If I, I you know, th those are just some names that come to mind. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody was doing their thing. All right. So, uh, so what new project projects do you have coming up in uh, 2015? Uh, 2015, man, we're gonna, I'm under new management, you know what I'm saying, so, uh... Care to elaborate on that? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm under new management, you know what I mean, All In Mafia, that's a shout out to man Wilhelm, and he's, he just, he's funding everything, and, and so it's gonna be different from what people are, are used to, like, I, it's, it's much more professional, whereas all of the past projects I put together myself, I, I did industry beats or whatnot, I had a couple of originals or whatnot, but this is all, this is going to be all originals, it's an LP and an EP, uh, Time Machine in 2015, it's an LP and an EP, and it's all originals, uh, like 80, 90% of it is produced by Sapphire, who made, uh, first, for, first 48 for J-Dog, he's, he's made a bunch of beats for Meek Mill Tiger, he's all out, he's all out there right now, the Renegades, who, who make a lot of tracks for Ace Hood, and Izzy the producer, and I've been in like much better studios, Baron Studios, Wire Road Studios, working with Grammy engineer, Grammy winning engineers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's just the new pro new projects is, and then you know of course trying to be a a, rele a, a, a a artist that stays relevant and be able to move with the times. You know I'm trying different things and you know but I never I'm always gonna stay true to what who I am as an artist. Right. But I you know I'm trying different things and just. You know, it's better. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be real good. Mm -hmm. So when's the EP coming out? And we we were shooting for January, but I can not tell you that it's gonna be you know in the beginning of some sometime in the beginning of, of 2015. So mm -hmm. January, February, look sometime out there. Okay, so uh, tell me a little bit about some of the videos you got. Uh, well, the first video that I that I put out, the first solo video was practice shot by CM Black Pixels. Um, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better turnout. Um, it was dope, man. We did it at a basketball court, and uh, a lot of people showed up. They came out there. They was hooping. I had my little brother out there skateboarding. Shout out to Eli. Yeah, I seen um, You know, it started raining, but ain't nobody leave. You know, we all we was just out there rocking, and it was just dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was real cool. People turned up. We, we brought a bottle at the end of the, at the end of the shoot. Started taking shots like. It was, it was cool, you know what I mean? That's what's up. And uh, gimmicks and politics, man. Gimmicks and politics was, was a, it was it was my chance to really like put together a video that had concepts and it wasn't just me performing in front of somebody. Oh, oh that feature of uh, Dre Ladon, you know what I mean? Big up to Dre Ladon. He, he he out there doing this thing. He just uh, he got a video about to come out with a a, a video on a song about to come out with Killer Cali on. So shout out to him. <clears throat> but uh. Like a lot went down with gimmicks and politics, man. It was it was fights on set, you know what I mean? With with my with my old manager and, and the videographer and me and and my and my stylist who was you know me my cousin. Uh, it was it was a lot going on at that time, man. But that video came out real cool because 
they had a concept set, like I said, and, and it was actual things going on. We had a video within a video, and it was just my perception of what the game is right now. Like gimmicks and politics was a lot of, like people would ask me, what does that mean? Or does that mean this or does that mean that? Gimmicks and politics was just me saying that I feel like the cats who are getting out in the game right now or the way the game is right now, you either gonna make it by a gimmick or just off of politics. Who you know, right, right. Or how much money you got or whatnot. So that's that was just my look on it. So that's why that, that project and that video really meant a lot to me. And that shit came out real dope. Okay. Man, that's a wrap. Alright. Let's drop this shit down.